وصلاه وسلام على نبيه الذي اصطفى وعلى اله وازواجه امهات المسلمين اهل الصفا والوفا so dear brothers and sisters is it not time for us to return to allah azza wa jal because we are dealing with allah the one who extends out his hands in the middle of the day so the sinner of the night can repent and the one who extends out his hand in the middle of the night so the sinner of the day can repent and listen to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says lallahu ahabbu bi'awdati wa 'awdati allah loves the return of his slave more than a man in the desert who had his camel and his food and drink and he decides to take a rest and his camel runs away and he knows that he's doomed so he decides to go to sleep so he can die in his sleep and in the middle of his sleep he wakes up and he sees his camel and so he grabs onto his camel and he says allahumma ana rabbuka wa anta abdi he says oh allah i am your lord and you are my slave the man made a mistake out of his joy that his life was saved the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam says allah is more happy with our return in repentance to him more than this man was happy with his life saved this is who we are dealing with this is who we are speaking with the one allah jalla fi ula that we need to come on the day of resurrection ready to embark on our conversation with him because listen to allah jalla fi ula as he says in the hadith of qudsi ya ibn adam kullama da'awtani wa rajawtani ghafartu laka wa lan ubali o son of adam so long as you call out to me and ask me, I shall forgive you and I don't mind it. He didn't say, oh son of Adam, if you pray to me, if you do sujood to me, if you do this and this to me, he simply said, as long as you call out to me sincerely and say, oh Allah, forgive me, I will forgive you and it doesn't mean nothing to me. يا ابن آدم لو بلغت ذنوبك عنان السماء ثم استغفرتني غفرت لك ولن أبالي O son of Adam if my sins was if your sins was to fill what is between the heaven and the earth what does it mean for someone's sins to fill what is between the heaven and earth think of someone who commits a sin and when they commit a sin you place a small tiny little cup on the face of the earth and then they commit another sin and you put another tiny cup next to it and you keep going until the entire earth is covered with sins with cups and so they commit another sin where does that cup go it goes on the previous one and you keep going until what is between the heavens and the earth is filled with cups and this is one man's sins and so allah azza wa jal says لو بلغت ذنوبك عنان السماء ثم استغفرتني غفرت لك ولن أبالي and then you ask me for forgiveness I forgive you and I don't even mind it you raised your hand and you said sincerely Ya Allah forgive me Ya Allah I am your, your slave I am your abd the transgressor forgive me he says I will forgive you and I don't even mind it but dear brothers and sisters, which one of us will stop sinning? None of us will stop sinning. Which one will stop transgressing against Allah? None of us will do. But which one will return to Allah after every sin and ask for forgiveness? Which one will raise their hands and ask Allah for repentance? Which one of us will shed a tear in the repentance of Allah? Which one of us will say, Kafaya nafsu ma kana, kafaki haman wa isyana? Which one of us is say, enough my desires, myself, the sins you've committed, enough with the transgressions. Which one of us will return to Allah Jalla fi ula, the one who we seek his repentance. Which one of us will say it's time to return to Allah Azza wa Jal. And keep in mind dear brothers and sisters, regardless of how many sins you've committed, all you who have committed zina, all who you have robbed, stolen, transgressed, done what you ever you have done, will you not be forgiven? Allah answers you and He says, يُغْفَرُ لَكَ رَغْمُ أَنْفِكَ You'll be forgiven whether you like it or not. And keep in mind, dear brothers and sisters, this is all but 1% of Allah's mercy that I speak about. This is all 1% of His Rahmah. And He saved the other 99 for the day of resurrection. So how dare us 
despair from the hope of returning to Allah Azza wa Jal. How dare us do we shy away from going back to Allah Jalla fi ula? Because like I said, dear brothers and sisters, which president, which congressman, which, which governor, which board member, whoever comes to you, which boss comes to you asking you for what you need so they can fulfill for you. Nobody comes to you except if they have benefits with you. But Allah Jalla fi ula, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, He comes to me and you when we need to go to Him, when we need to seek Him. But He Jalla fi ula, comes to me and you and asks us, the King of Kings, the Lord Lord of Lords comes to me and you. When keep in mind our, our good deeds, our hasanat, add nothing to his mighty and his high. He adds nothing to him, but it adds to our scales. It betters our vision in front of our Lord. He doesn't come to you once a lifetime. He doesn't come to you once a year, not once a month, not once a week. He comes to me and you once a day. He descends from as sama al sabi'ah to as sama al dunya. He descends from the seventh heaven to the earthly heaven. And he asks three questions. When was the last time we've answered those three questions? When was the last time we had that conversation? When he comes to us and he asks us three questions. Allah descends in the last third of the night. And from his wisdom, he redescends in the last third of the night. And he says, هَلْ مِنْ تَائِبٍ فَأَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِ Anybody seeking repentance, so I can repent for them. Which one of us hasn't sinned, sinned and is seeking repentance from Allah Azza wa Jal? Which one of us haven't transgressed and seeking repentance from Allah Azza wa Jal? And he says, هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَسْتَغْفِرُ لَهِ Anybody seeking forgiveness, so I can forgive them. Which one of us doesn't need forgiveness of our Lord? And keep in mind there's a huge difference between repentance and forgiveness. And we need both of them. So he comes asking us, asking me and you, after we sinned, after we transgressed against him, and said which one of us is seeking repentance, which one of us is seeking forgiveness, so he can repent and forgive for us. And then it doesn't stop at the two essentials that we need in our life, forgiveness and repentance. He says anybody seeking anything else so he can do it for us. So all you who are looking to get married, all you who are looking for a better health, all you who are struggling to find a job, all you who are, fa are facing poverty, all you who are struggling, when was the last time you stood up and asked the question? When was the last time you stopped, uh, stepped up and answered Allah and told Him, Ya Allah, I need your repentance, I need your forgiveness, but I also need this, 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 this and that, with a promise from Him to answer. Answer every single one of those questions. When was the last time we've done it? And dear brothers and sisters, I wrap up with this. Right? We need to meet Allah Azza wa Jal with as good of a book as we can. But how do we do this? How do we implement Alam Ya'ni Lilladina Aman and Taksha Akulubuhum Lidikri Lahi wa Manazala min al haq by returning to the Quran, by continuing to build this connection, by continuing to do good deeds, because listen to this hadith, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says Allah ordered his angels. We have an angel on the right and an angel on the left. One that is writing your good deeds and one that is writing your bad deeds. And so the Messenger وسلم, he said, he ordered the angel on your left that writes your bad deeds. That when you commit a sin, to hold off for a period of time before he writes it. Why? Why hold off? In hopes that his slave will repent. So that the angel doesn't write it and that the angel on the right can write a hasana, a good, a good deed for them. So woo to us, so woo to us, wallahi thumma wallahi thumma wallahi. We are losers after hearing this hadith and coming on the day of resurrection with our books not full of hasanat and clear of sayyad. When Allah gives us the opportunity after the sin to repent to Him so it does not be written for them. When on the other side, when we do a good deed, just the intention of doing a good deed, Allah orders His angel to write it immediately. 
And if you follow through with a good deed, it's not one. It's multiplied ten. This is the mercy of our Lord. This is the mercy of who we are dealing with. This is Allah Jalla fi Ula, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one we are dealing with. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us from those that hear the words and do by them. اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك اللهم لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليه اللهم اجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا وذهابا لغمومنا وهمومنا اللهم علمنا منه ما جهلنا وذكرنا منه ما نسينا ووفقنا يا ربنا لفهم معنا اجعلنا يا ربنا ممن يقرأه فيرقى ولا تجعلنا ممن يقرأه فيذل ويشقى اللهم أكرمنا بكرامة القرآن وزينا بزينة القرآن اللهم ألبسنا بخلعة القرآن اللهم ألبسنا تاج الوقار بالقرآن اللهم شفع فينا القرآن اللهم رحماك بعبادك المستضعفين في كل مكان فوق كل أرض وتحت أي سماء برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين عباد الله إن الله أمركم بأمر بدا به بنفسه وثن بملائكته القدس وثلث بكم فقال وما أعز من قائل قال عباد الله من الإنس والجن إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما فاللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذا القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبرد يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه يزدكم وأقم الصلاة